I wanted to make a video to show you some of the ways that I use Pamela's new workout. I think a lot of us probably watched Perfect Circuit's recent video, I'll link that down below for anybody who hasn't seen it, but they missed a few of the ways that I use the module. So I wanted to walk you guys through some of these techniques. This first one is a technique to use Pamela's new workout as a quantizer for a CV source coming from another module. I'm gonna take this LFO from Maths. Here's what that sounds like if I use it to control the pitch of this oscillator without involving Pamela's new workout. That's not very musical at all. What I'm gonna do is take the output of maths into CV1 of Pamela's new workout and take channel one of Pamela's new workout into the Doppler VCO. Now, when I press play on Pam's, it's just gonna send a gate into the VCO. Here are the settings you need to change on Pam's to make it work as a quantizer. Take the channel you want to use as a quantizer and set the width to 100%. Then set the level to be controlled by the CV that you want to use as the source for the quantizer. I then go to the quantize option on PAMS and select the scale that I'd like to quantize that to. So here I'm going to go for the pentatonic minor scale. That's a really useful tip if you have a small case like this and you need a quantizer and don't have one in the system. Here's a way you could use that in a patch. This is sort of a bastardization of Mylar Melody's system that he's taken from Stevio, but it's a way you could put it into a practice without any precision adders and just using Pamela's new workout as a quantizer. I've got one external sequence playing on the dot for VCO. I've got another external sequence being played by the oscillator and warps. If I wanted a third sequence, which was made up of sort of a mixture of these two sequences, here's what I could do. So I take a copy of the sequence going into the dot for VCO, as well as a copy of the sequence going into warps. I'm gonna send those into channels two and three of maths, which is just gonna add those sequences together at a level set by the two attenuverters. Here's what that new sequence sounds like when I just send that straight into plats. That's not at all musical. I'm gonna run that through the quantizer I've set up on Pamela's new workout by going into CV1 and then out of channel one, which is the channel I've set up as a quantizer. And then take that back into the volt per octave input of Platts. Here's what that sounds like now. So you can see that's already sounding much more musical. And when I mix that in with the original two sequences. So you can see how really quickly I can get to something that's very musical and like with a bit of more processing, you know, there's some musical ideas in there. I've done a rig rundown video of this small system, so if that's something you'd like to see, I'll link it down below, as well as another patch walkthrough video where I show a technique for using Pamela's new workout to create probability for another gate source. This next tip is a way you can use Pamela's new workout to create presets within the modular. You could save a bunch of settings and then recall them later. This is something that could be really handy in a live set where you just wanna be focusing on something else. So I wanted to start off with this clap sound. And in a later track, I wanted to say this sound. But I don't want to be manually changing the position of this knob myself because I've got other things to think about. I take one of the outputs from Pamela's new workout and send it to the input of the thing I want to be updating. In this case, it's the surface knob. So for the first track, I want that clap sound. Here's how I'm going to save that to the memory. Firstly, I set the width of the channel I'm using to recall this preset to 100%. I'm gonna press the start button on PAMS and use level to dial in the sound that I want for the first preset. So there's the clap sound. I'm gonna save that to bank B. Then I'm gonna go back into channel one, use the level to select the sound I want for the next preset, let's say this.
and then I'm going to save this to bank C. Now I can load bank B or load bank C and it's going to change the sound. I could use all eight outputs of Pamela's new workout in this manner to update up to eight different settings across the modular.